test the convergence of the given series where my x is greater than 0. So when I consider this, I can generalize this series as un is equal to x power n by 2n minus 1 into 2n. So I am going to prove this convergence by the average ratio test. So I have to find limit n tends to infinity of un plus 1 by un. So I have my un. My un plus 1 is equal to x power n plus 1 by 2 into n plus 1 minus 1 into 2 into n plus 1. So now I have to find un plus 1 by un. So this is equal. I have to take n commonly outside from this. n commonly outside from this. n commonly outside from this. And n commonly outside from this. Now when I cancel these two. I will get x here. So this is equal to. Now when I go for. Now I have to substitute my limits. So now limit n tending to infinity of un plus 1 by un is this. Now when I substitute the limits, I will be getting 2 divided by 2 into x since all these terms will become 0. So this is equal to x. But given that x is greater than 0. So my x might be equal to 1. x might be greater than 1. So when my x is greater than 1, summation un is divergent. When my x is equal to 1, this test fails. So I have to move for P series test. Now my x is equal to 1. Therefore, my un will be. So now I go for comparison test and P series test. I have to find limit n tends to infinity of un by vn. So now I am going to simplify this. My un is equal to 1 by. I am going to take this n commonly outside. 2 minus 1 by n into 2n. So this is equal to 1 by n square into 2 into 2 minus 1 by n. So now my vn is equal to 1 by n square. So limit of n tending to infinity of un by vn. So when I go for substituting this, I will get this by this. This will be 1 by 2 into 2 minus 1 by n. Limit n tending to infinity. So when I substitute the value, I will be getting 1 by 4 which is lesser than 1. So this is finite and non-zero. So this is finite and non-zero. I go for my P-series test where my Bn is equal to 1 by n square. So now when I compare this with this, my P is equal to 2. So when my P is equal to 2, it is greater than 1. So my summation Vn is, since it is greater than 1, it is convergent. So this implies that my summation Un is convergent for x is equal to 1. So for x is equal to 1, summation un is convergent.